Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a puzzle piece canvas art. In your kit you received an 8x10 canvas and a handful of puzzle pieces at various sizes. Now this is a very simple yet fun um, cra uh, craft. So um, the only thing I did not include was glue and a drawing utensil. Um, if you need those, absolutely need those, you can come into the library and we can help you with that. All right, so let's get to it. All right, the first step you need to do is decide what you are going to draw. In the picture that came with your craft kit, you can see that somebody drew a tree trunk and branches and then filled in the foliage with puzzle pieces. I think I'm going to do something different just to give you an idea of what you can do. So I'm going to do something simple, but you know, fun. And again, I'm not the best artist. So when I draw, please do not laugh, <laughs> but I'm going to draw an outline of like a tiered cake. Maybe like a two tiered cake. All right, so now I've got my cake and I can move on to the next step, which is putting puzzle pieces on. For this step, you will need glue. Um, I recommend using either Elmer's glue, like a school glue or a tacky glue. I'm gonna try to use this if it'll come out of the bottle, um, but you just need to put a little bit on. You don't have to put a ton on. Um, I don't really recommend using hot glue. I'm not sure if it'll how it'll affect the puzzle pieces because these aren't very um you know thick sturdy things i'm afraid that the hot glue would mess up and i'm not sure how hot glue would react with uh, the canvas so i recommend using like school glue i'm sure you could even use a glue stick you just have to make sure that you put enough on so i'm just going to put these on random it doesn't matter where exactly they go you can just pick and choose. And I put different size pieces. So you can use all the small ones, all the big ones, or, you know, just like mix it up here and there. And I'm just going to start putting these on. Okay, so I'm going to actually grab some pieces, multiple pieces, put glue on them, and then lay them down because doing it one at a time seems to be a little slow. So I'm just going to go ahead and put glue on each uh, couple of pieces, a few pieces, and then I will put them on there. Makes it go a little quicker. That way you don't have to sit here watching me struggle with the glue. So I'll be back after I get a bunch of these with glue. And it's okay if some of your pieces overlap. Do whatever you want. All right, I've reached a stopping point. You can see that I have filled in the cake with my puzzle pieces. And if you want to, you can stop here. You don't have to do anything else. You just have your cute little puzzle piece canvas. Now I did this cake and all I did was draw the two tiers and then I filled it in with puzzle pieces. Now I can stop here, but those of you who want to do more, there are some different things that you can do. First, if you want to beforehand, you can either color in the whole entire cake with your marker or whatever uh, drawing utensil you're using and then glue it on so that the spaces have 
color or you can color it afterwards. And also, if you want to, you can cut up some of the little pieces of your puzzle. Just take your scissors and cut them up and you can glue them in some of these open spots. And lastly, another thing you could do is put some glue in these open spots and sprinkle some glitter and then shake it off and then the spots are filled with glitter. All right, that's all for today's craft. I hope you enjoyed doing this. Again, it was simple but a fun. So um, until next time, happy crafting. All right, those of you who watch till the end, you get to see a bonus. I'm going to do one of the things that I suggested. I'm going to put some glue in these emptier spots and then sprinkle some glitter on it. So here we go. Might be easier said than done. The tacky glue is good, but it it is very, 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 very hard to squeeze out. Another way that you could do this is put the glue on with a paintbrush, but I'm going to be difficult and do it this way. Just kind of squeezing the glue into the empty crevices. Okay, now after painstakingly putting glue in all of the crevices, I'm going to sprinkle some glitter. I'm going to go through the glitter bag I have beside me. And I think I'm going to use this um, pinkish purple, if you will. So let's see how much of a mess I can make. And I laid down some parchment paper beside me because I know I'll make a mess. Plus it'll catch the excess glitter after I take it off. I'm trying to get all the crevices here. Again, you don't have to do this. You can leave your, your artwork as it is. But this is just a bonus little segment of the video for those who want to take their canvas art a step further. So I'm just using the glitter and filling in everywhere that I put glue. There might be some spots that I missed, but that's okay. Just tapping this glitter all over. And if some of it gets on the puzzle pieces, like the glue was on a puzzle piece, then it'd be just as pretty. And if you decide that you want to do something like this, but you don't have any glitter, um, you can totally come into the library and ask, and we'll bring you in here in our activity room and let you use them. We understand that not everybody has the materials needed. I think it's good and saturated with glitter. Just make sure it's all over. Okay, this is the next step. You lift this up and you shake off all that excess glitter. And see, my canvas is filled in. It's not perfect, but it looks really cute something different. All right, so I'm glad you all stay to watch this bonus segment. And again, like I said, I hope you all enjoy this craft and I would love to see pictures of what you've all done. All righty. See you next time. Happy crafting.